Welcome back, my dear life folks, to another Warfare or Not, the series where I tell you if an anime or manga is worth reading or worth watching. I haven't done one of these in literally like one year, and I definitely got to talk to you about Jagen. Now, Jagen is one of my favorite series ever. It's just such a good manga, sustaining manga. It's a darker story. So if you don't mind gore and other stuff, violence, well, gore and violence is kind of the same thing. All, all that stuff rated M for mature type stuff, then definitely check out the series. It has over 100 chapters right now. Based on my enthusiasm, as you could see, I definitely recommend you read this series. If you are bored during the quarantine, if you are really bored at home, you need a manga get to read you don't got time well you do have time but you don't got time like that to watch an anime or sometimes it's, it's too long for you check out the jogging manga what is jogging about like all right let me explain to you so Jagasaki is basically a police officer in a small town in Japan and you know every day his life is just the same every single day the same thing wake up brush your teeth blah 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 eat dinner he has a girlfriend on um, patrol the streets he's a police officer he doesn't see any action because in Japan everything is nice and dandy um in the manga right I don't know real life Japan if it's like that as well so the only trouble he comes across really is just some delinquents and hooligans and things like that that are drinking beers, throwing their cans on, 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 the, on the floor and stuff like that, and just hanging around in a store. When the store owner calls up, Jagasaki, yeah, yeah, the, the punks are here again, the punks are here again, Jagasaki. Dred's going there, tells them off, and then the punks don't listen to Jagasaki. They're like, screw you, basically, type stuff, because they're very defiant. So Jagasaki in his mind, um, he even looks in the mirror in his house and he forces himself a smile like the Joker smile. Have you seen the new Joker movie? Um, he forces himself into a smile and basically he's just falling into depravity. He even has these dark thoughts sometimes where he's like, man, I wish I could just shoot all of them. Like shoot the people, uh, you know, the, the punks that are basically littering around, just hanging around doing nothing um, and causing problems for others in society. So one day... It just starts raining frogs. I don't. I know. I know. You might be like, "Wait, that, that, that's kind of weird. Raining frogs? Uh, what? What is that about?" Right. It's raining frogs, but it it does. You know, it starts raining frog and. There, there's frogs and there's tadpoles. So if a frog goes inside of you, right? If it touches you, it actually goes inside your body. Like it melts inside. Like it just goes right through, right? So whatever you have, desire you have, it comes true, right? So if you desire money, I want money, 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 right? Um, and a frog goes into you, you literally, um, first, uh, slowly but surely, you lose your consciousness as a human, and then you'll probably start producing money from your body or something, and then you'll turn crazy. You'll probably produce $100 bills, like, out of your fingers, or your body will become money, and you're like, I got so much money, and then you start ripping your organs or something, something like that. That did not happen in the manga. This is no spoilers, but just an example, um, but then if a tadpole falls on you and your desire is money, um, but something else probably well, you will not lose your humanity for a long time because a tadpole is basically the first form of a frog and it'll take a while before the tadpole you know evolves or i, I don't know the the stage i forgot the cycle of the the frog stuff um in, into a full mature frog before you lose your consciousness so there's half fractured humans and there's fractured humans in the series so the fractured humans are the ones that a big just a frog landed on them and their desires took over and they lose their consciousness. They're not in control of their mind anymore. Their desires are in control of their mind. Um, and then there's the half fracture humans where basically a tadpole um, takes control of them. So yeah, I, by the way, if you're asking why am I recording moving around so much, you know, I wanted to try to something different for this worth it or not. This is the last video of the day. So sorry for spamming your subscriptions box today. I just wanted to make a couple of videos because there are no um, shonen chapters this week out. But I also got more discussions coming up this week. So I hope you bear with me. I hope you enjoy this video. And I hope you do check out Jagen because it's a really great story. A lot of character development. There's a character in the series. I'm not going to name his name. Well, I am. Robohata. Uh, 
Uh, let me just say Robohata. Watch out for Robohata. That's what I'm going to say. And then Yagasaki, the main character, his journey is really interesting. Um, there's a lot of different people with different desires, different powers in the series. And I really, really do enjoy jogging. Um, so yeah, that's it for this worth it or not. I'm pro I'm not going to cover the series anymore on my channel. The last time I covered it was like in 2019, March around that time. Just because I want to read it for my own personal enjoyment. Maybe once in a blue moon, I'll make a discussion about it. But yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, remember to have a great day. Peace.